great job on math today. I wanted to remind you to also do your best on writing today. Remember, we're using our circle math to write sentences about what we thought was awesome in first grade. We're saying first grade was a hoot because you're going to make an owl. I've included a big piece of paper and I included a little picture so you can see what it looks like um, for you to put your writing inside. You do not have to give that writing back to me. You get to keep that as a keepsake. However, however, I want your moms or dads to take a picture or to they can scan that in from their phone too of your writing because you are still getting a grade on it, which means what am I looking for? I am looking for complete sentences. I am looking for details. I am looking for great writing. I'm looking for capitals. And I'm looking for punctuation. And no crazy words and no crazy capitals. Do a great job. Okay, ready for some story time? How about a little Pete the Cat? Since tomorrow is our science day, I thought I would read Pete the Cat. This is Pete the Cat and the super cool science experiment. This is by Kimberly and James Dean. Super fun. Pete the Cat and the super cool science fair. Science rocks. You guys know I think science rocks too. Look at here's their calendar. How many days are in most months? 30. Some months have 31. Remember we can go January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. Remember how to do that to see how many it has? Pete cannot wait for Friday. His school is having a science fair. Pete has never been a scientist. Now he can try it out. Are you guys all scientists? Yes, you are. Pete's teacher tells the students they will do experiments in groups. Pete is in a group with Callie, Gus, and Squirrel. Our experiment is going to be groovy, says Pete. What should we do? They're going to do something we have done in class, and you could still do it at home. It's an extra day of science. Let's build a mini submarine, says Callie. Or grow a giant tree, says Squirrel. Or invent an invisible guitar, says Pete. I like his invisible guitar. Why don't we make a volcano, asks Gus. Whoa, they all say. Volcanoes are awesome. We did this around pumpkin day. Do you guys remember? And apple day too. Would any scientists like, oh, I'm sorry. Let me come back to the top. The group plans the experiment at Pete's house. His mom, his mom brings them snacks. Would any scientists like a cookie, she asks. They all raise their hands. The cookies are warm and, do you know Pete's favorite word? Groovy. The scientists check the big book of experiments for materials. They need glue, water, newspapers, paint, and a plastic bottle for the volcano. They need vinegar and baking soda, liquid dish soap, and a secret ingredient for the lava. So look at, if you wanted to make one, there's the list. But they're actually making theirs into a volcano. You could do it just with a bowl or a water bottle too. Pete and Gus mix the glue and water. Squirrel and Kelly tear the newspaper into strips. They cover the plastic bottle with glue and paper. It looks like a sticky white volcano. See how they're making a paper mache volcano? Oh no, the paint in the brown bottle is blue. What are we going to do, asked Kelly. They can't find brown paint anywhere. What color is their volcano gonna be? That's pretty cool, says Pete. Maybe it's okay that we have a blue volcano. We'll be the only group with a blue volcano, says Squirrel. Let's test the, the lava so we know that the volcano will erupt at the science fair, Pete says. Look at, can you see what they're putting in? Do you remember we did this in class? You can do, you can mix those to make a, it, remember, erupt and bubble up. Gus pours baking soda and liquid dish soap into the volcano, and Callie adds vinegar. Nothing happens at first. It just takes a few minutes for the reaction to happen, a few seconds for the reaction to happen. All of a sudden, a lot of lava starts coming out. Super cool, says Callie. The team high fives each other, but the lava is still coming out. Soon, it is a huge mess. Oh, mom is go not going to be happy, says Pete. 
At least the scientists are ready for the fair on Friday. They're using safety equipment. Those goggles are safety equipment, which is important when we do scientific experiments. When Pete and his team arrive at the fair, they all see the other groovy experiments. They all look awesome. Grumpy Toad and Octopus grew rock candy in jars. Emma and Marty made slime. We don't stand a chance, said Gus. Don't worry, we have the secret ingredient, says Pete. Hmm, what could it be? Let's see. At the science fair, Pete's teacher loves the blue volcano. Wait till you see it erupt, Pete says. The whole class watches Callie pour vinegar into the volcano. There she goes, and they're all being safe. <laughs> Are you guys ready for this? It's super fun. A second later, glitter lava gushes out. Everyone cheers. The scientists cheer the loudest. What was the secret ingredient? Glitter. That's super fun. Science experiments are hard work, says Pete, but being an awesome team makes them a whole lot easier. We know what you think about that word, but it is, it is better to work in a team, isn't it, first grade? Coolest experiment at the science fair they won. Okay, first grade, do fantastic. If you still need to finish your math, do a great job on it. Focus. You only have a little bit more school left. You're almost done. And I, I just know you're going to finish strong. I love you bunches and bunches and bunches. This morning on Taco Tuesday, I was praying for you and I was thanking the Lord that I got to see you during our drive-through, drive-bys at your house. Wasn't that so much fun? It just blessed my heart so much. So I love you bunches. Go do your best. I will see you soon. Bye.